guys welcome back to the channel hope you all are doing good so in today's video we are going to see how to download the python in mac os for this one you just have to go to python download mac you will see a site python.org which is the first link so just go in here you will see a section for downloads and you have to see this python 3.11.4 this is the latest version you can download and if you want to download the previous versions as well so here's the stable releases link where you can download the previously released versions but yeah in this video we'll download the most recent version of the python so i'll just click it on here and after clicking on here the download section will start and once it's downloaded we'll just click on the package file so let's just click on the file and the downloading will start welcome to the python installer and then you have to just click on continue so agree yeah i want to install just type the system password here install software yeah so just writing the files and it will get installed in less than a minute so once it's installed you just have to press command plus spacebar if you press so you will have to type the terminal click on enter and then you have to search for python 3 hyphen hyphen version so if you can see here the python 3.11.4 is installed let's check the pip version as well so pip 3 hyphen hyphen version so pip is also installed here if you go to library frameworks python not framework so here we have seen how we can download the python in a mac os machine we have installed the 3.11.4 version but if, what if you want to uninstall this version and download the previous releases version so for this one you just have to go to finder and you have to go to go computer a library and then you just have to go to frameworks so if you go to frameworks you will find something python dot framework just click on it versions you will see this is the already installed version is there and you just have to right click and delete this move to bin basically okay type the password again so it's deleted now let's check the versions again it should be giving us an error you see invalid active developer path this is the error and let's check for the pip3 as well so it's also giving an error so yeah this was it for this video and if you like our video please like and subscribe to our channel thank you